It's a disgraceful performance, in my opinion. We threw that game. We gave it away by doing that. We gave them the friggin' game. In my opinion, that sucked. It did. What's that? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about them. Playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. It sucks to have to use two Jim Moore references in the same season. But that pretty much summed up what happened on Sunday. I can't believe I picked the Bills to win that game. They were just never in it. Dallas got the ball. Scored points every time. Bills couldn't stop them. It's ridiculous. Couldn't move the ball. First play of the game. DeMarcus Ware comes in untouched and sacks a quarterback. Like, you just knew. You just knew. There was just no way the Bills were getting back in that game. Even though they had opportunities, they had chances, and they just didn't capitalize on them. They didn't execute. Jackson had over 100 yards. A lot of that stuff came late, but they were playing from behind the whole time, so they kind of needed to throw. But just a poor, poor performance overall. From top to bottom, coaching, offense, defense, special teams, I don't know. <laughs> but if I want to start somewhere real quick, I guess I'll start with, I can go forever about the defense. We'll start with Fitzpatrick, who has played, in my opinion, unacceptable for somebody who just signed a six-year, essentially $60 million deal. That'll happen. He's not going to play great all the time. I'm I'm aware of that. But you can't justify that contract. Blank the, the Redskins. And then come back to back games. One at home. And I'm not going to... I'm not counting that garbage touchdown to Nelson last week. Against the Jets. I'm not counting that. Because the same thing happened. against the Jets last year to that Steve Johnson thing. And I might have brought that up last week, but 10 points in two weeks plus a garbage touchdown. 10 freaking points. One of those games was at home against a division rival. Those That's unacceptable. Your quarterback can't play that way. Your franchise quarterback can't play that way. He's going to have bad games. They shouldn't be back-to-back. I guess since you play them twice a year, eventually there will be one against a division rival. Shouldn't be at home. Just unacceptable. Can't happen. He didn't get a lot of. He didn't get great protection, mind you. The Cowboys were harassing him, and now Woods out for the year. Bell and Hairston might be back, so Levitri goes to center. How is that going to hold up? God knows. I don't know. But everything seems to be in shambles. And it's tough to tell where this team's going to go from here. The defense last week was straight pathetic. I don't, I, this 3 4 thing isn't working out. I, I'm not saying we, uh, you just got to either do a couple things. You either get some better personnel or you get. Or you go back to the 4-3, which I think isn't that bad of an idea. Looking forward to next year. I'm not trying to look forward to next year, but if I wanted to say with everyone healthy, you get, you know, Kelsey, Darius, Williams, maybe Carrington on the line. There's a four-man front. I, f I don't mind it. Barnett, Shepard, the linebackers. Okay, they're good at pass coverage anyway, so that's what they're supposed to do. McKelvin, just consistently inconsistent. It's the only way I can describe him. Not, not that often out of position, is he? Just can't make a play on the ball. Don't know what's wrong with him. He needs his like. He needs like that. He needs his swag back or something. Like he's just. He's like playing scared or something, and it's so frustrating. Like, look back at his rookie year. He gambled, he took chances, and he made plays. Now he kind of sits back because he doesn't want to gamble and get beat. 
And he doesn't make any plays. He made one this year against Brady. The only one I can remember. And that was Ocho Cinco undercutting the route. I mean... Bad. No pressure. Romo just stood back there. Did we touch him? Did he get hit? 23 of 26, are you kidding me? Can anybody get there? It's just pathetic. One of the worst performances I've ever seen. But it's over. So let's not dwell on that. We got the Dolphins this week. A team that you just have to beat. Playoffs aren't out of the question yet. Two teams could go from the East, I guess. Right now, the Bills are what? The f There's two wildcard teams, and the Bills are the f fourth. Steelers are six and three, correct? I don't know if that's correct. That sounds about right. Six and three. Ravens six and three. No, Steelers are seven and two. Ravens are six and three. Bengals are six and three. There's your wildcard teams. Then you got Jets, Bills, Titans, five and four. And Chargers, Raiders, or Chargers, Broncos, Chiefs, four and five, whatever. So the Bills are essentially tied for the third wildcard team, which is only two, so we can't even, whatever. Beat the Dolphins. Let's just beat the freaking Dolphins. Dolphins are terrible at home. They finally won a home game last week against the Redskins, who are terrible. Dolphins are making plays lately. They finally know how to use Reggie Bush. They're getting the ball to Brandon Marshall. They're get, you know, it's working a little bit. But this is a team the Bills just strictly have to beat and sweep this year, obviously. If you're 6 and 4 after this week, you're not looking so bad, are you? I mean, block Cameron Wake Kevin Burnett, those guys, like, run your offense. Chan, just run the offense. Stop, you know, I, I, not that the play calling was that bad last week, it just f felt just so, I, I don't even know what it was. Steve Johnson said it was, they're all trying to be too perfect. And they just need to play loose. And maybe that's what it is. You don't need to be perfect. Just get it done. It's it's tough to even it's tough to even like say what needs to be better after you lose forty four to seven. Because everything needs to be better. The run defense, the pass defense, the offense. Everything but Fred Jackson needs to be better. Including coaching. I, again, I think they still need a, a, a better number two receiver. And I don't even. And now Steve Johnson's uncertain for the weekend. I think he'll play, but Donald Jones, man, I don't know, he still had like six catches. Should have had ten. And I'm not mad about the fourth and two to the end zone. That's what the Bills would have done. That's what the Bills of like weeks ago. And that could have changed the whole complexion of the game. They score a touchdown there. Donald Jones hit him in the hands. He's got to catch it. A little high. Would have been a tough play. Make it. That's what Chan Gailey stresses. He wants people to make plays. He's going to give people opportunities to make plays. They got to make them. He didn't make that one. The Bills, on fourth and two, regularly would do something like that. Not hand it off. Like the fourth and one, everyone wanted to sneak. The Bills sometimes would take a shot because you know you're going to get single coverage. You know you're going to get man coverage out there because they're going to stack the box. They had it. It was there. Donald Jones should make that play. And then he had another drop that led to an interception. He struggled big time. Can make up for it, though. Beat the Dolphins. Just run Fred Jackson. When you run the football successfully... So many good things happen for your passing game. That's just the way it is. Defensively, just... They got to blitz and get pressure. They got 
burned when they blitzed against Romo, but they can't get there. Stop the run, too. Murray ran wild. Actually, I mean, Romo just tore us apart in the first half. 11 for 11 or whatever, 13 of 13. Just ripped us up. Just scheme, I don't know, like, George Edwards... What are you what are you drawing up here? I, I nothing worked. Just nothing worked last week. And it can't be any worse. So let's play physical. Hit people. Hurt people. Like everyone says bend but don't break. Screw that. You know, be the aggressor. Don't be the bend, but don't break. Like, oh, we'll give you, you know, we're going to give you a yardage. We'll maybe force a couple turnovers here and there. But we're not going to um, gamble. We're going to lay back and whatever. No, screw that. Go at people. Try to make things happen. There's just a lack of playmakers on this team. And it just it has shown the past two weeks. They've been physically outmatched the past two weeks. And the playmakers of the Jets and Cowboys have really shown the Bills that they're just not all there yet. I still think the Bills are a good team. Looking forward, I think they will be a good team. They have some winnable games. Think about it. You have to beat, you know, you have to beat Miami twice. Like, I might have talked about this last week, too. You have to beat Miami twice. You have to beat Tennessee. You have to beat Denver. That's four wins right there. That it should be four wins. That should get you to nine. Win. And then you got to win either at New York, at San Diego, at New England. Take one. Take two for the hell of it. So it's got to be done. They know the task. Nobody's going to take us seriously the rest of the year. So beat somebody. Starts this week. Beat Miami. If it was against anybody else, honestly, I'd probably pick the Bills to lose. But I'm going to pick the Bills to win. And when I've had this mentality before, the Bills have blown it. Like against Cleveland, 6-3 to three a couple years ago. My God, that was brutal. But... They're going to win. They have to win. They'll win. Those are going to win. 27... 27-16. Bills. Let's go. Let's get this thing back on track. Guys, trying to keep the video shorter, but I just can't do it. Sometimes I just go off. You came this far. I appreciate it. I want you all to enjoy your weekend. Focus on getting the dub. Let's go Bills.